Hey, what is up, driver? Supercar's clone here, and today we're going to be discussing why Cars the video game is my most favorite video game of all time, and why I still make videos of it to this very day. So you know everybody has a favorite video game of their own, there's no denying it, but what if you're one of those people who have very video games and want to find the one game to reflect their personality off of? Well, you come to the right place. I know if you have a big collection of games, it could be kind of tough to find your absolute favorite game, but I think one of the best ways to find a favorite is to grow up with it. You are born, you grow up by the year, a game gets released, it gets older by the year. What I mean by that is pick a game you really like, enjoy it, beat it, and if you find the story, gameplay missions, or just messing around the world doing who knows what, maybe give it another go. And that's what I did with Cars the video game on the PS2, although for one period I didn't have any memory cards and I was stuck with repeating the first act for like 20 times, but I think one day I got some memory cards and I beat it for the first time, and there's a story about that which I'll cover in this video, and the story continues farther than that. So, get your comfy recliner, maybe some popcorn, and let's go over the story of why Cars the video game is my personal favorite game of all time. Back in the day, it was little Casey 3 c and Captain Toad 250, and we have a bond like a stain on a shirt. And he showed me cars, the movie, and video games, obviously. I got intrigued and got into it. The consoles we had are the Wii and the fat PS2. I think he gave me the PS2 and a copy of Cars, the video game, from what I remember. I'm not sure if I had a good number of games, but this was a long time ago, so I could be wrong. Then a Christmas happened. From what I remember, there was this family who had a PS2 Slim and a good amount of licensed movie games. They gave that stuff to me as a present, and boy oh boy, I was having a blast. And the present alongside the PS2 Slim is another copy of Cars TVG, which is the same copy I tested in the YouTube video along with the other discs I was talking about, but that might be a different copy. Then we got Lego Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, The Incredibles, which, fun fact, has a team rating because E10 and Up wasn't relevant at the time, but I digress. So E10 and Up may not have existed, but you know what did exist? Making game C's. So when you're very young, you have a tendency to not take care of discs as well as you think you do. You have very game, boom, scratch. Your parents show you many times fanning through the hole. What do you do? The exact opposite. And less likely, loose discs. At that point, anything can happen to your game. Oh, a spider! Although my two copies of cars did have cases, but at the time my dad wanted me to use his black logic case because my PS2 cases are quote, garbage, and I think that's why my disc got scratched. But weirdly enough, the gameplay of the scratch disc then was a lot worse than what happened in the video. What happened is the roll chunks didn't load properly or would glitch. McQueen would fall through the ground completely and wouldn't be able to get back to the surface unless you exit and return, and the game would freeze a lot. Also, weirdly, the case I used to store the old copies had a weird effect on them. When I put them in the logic case and leave them in there for a long time and pick them out and run again in the PS2, the gameplay would be a little better. Something young KC3C never thought of was buying a new copy, but something he did think of was other games. When my birthday was coming up, I saw a Cars Mater National Championship and thought to myself, COOL! I wrote it on my wish list and got on my birthday, got excited, and... THIS ISN'T AS GOOD AS THE FIRST GAME! Don't get me wrong, some of the missions were pretty cool along with making it by McQueen's headquarters, which they teased in the original game. Although the layout of Raider Springs was different, you couldn't drive in some of the areas, and it feels like an unfinished version of Raider Springs, and the developers pretty much decided, Let's roll with it! Even though I wasn't the biggest fan of this game in particular, I still had a pretty good collection of PS2 games until this one Christmas incident which demolished everything. Story goes, I had a friend come over, he was yanking on the controller, and remember we were playing on the PS2 Slim that I got from the previous Christmas a long time ago, and the PS2 fell over and broke. And the screen was flickering, and then I disposed the PS2 afterwards, and I should have kept those memory cards. After that incident, my dad drove me to the same store that I bought some of my library from, and I sold all my PS2 games for the most pathetic amount of money. I really should have kept those games. Anyways, with the PS2 gone, and the fact that my older copies are in bad condition, and for some reason I left them in the logic case for many years without touching them, I knew I had to find other options. So years later, after my PS2 broke, I eventually got a PS4 and then Cars 3 Driven to win alongside it, which is fine, but it's just Cars 2 the video game with a different setting and characters, and they kind of proved it by remastering or remaking some of the trash from the original game. 
And I got to say, I really missed exploring Raider Springs for the 25th time. So, I went on a Cars video game campaign to try to be able to play the game anytime I want and try to find the best version of the game possible. And what did I start with in the Xbox 360, which started the campaign? To put the story short, one day I ordered Cars for the 360 off eBay or something like it. Then I went on vacation, and while I was on vacation, I was getting so excited to play a Cars game, but this time on a different platform. Eventually, I got back from vacation, and I went into my bedroom, and apparently Camp 250 placed it under my pillow like a tooth fairy would. And I gotta say, it doesn't look too bad at all. In fact, it looks sharp. Also, in addition to getting Cars, I also got Cars 2, which Camp 250 gave me prior to a birthday, and then I got Cars Rama, and I used to have it, but I got rid of it for some reason. So yeah, everything was running smoothly for a while, until I got scammed, and no, I didn't got scammed by someone on the phone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No way. 80% off for a vacuum cleaner? But I did get scammed by a friend. See, the Xbox 360 used to belong to another friend of mine, and he wants it back. So, he made me an offer. He'll give me the PSP along with the games he has for it, for the Xbox. And, I took it, and I will soon regret it. After I took the offer and then bought cars off this gaming website, and I remember that they wanted this game out of the warehouse by the no returns policy, and after I got it in the mail and then played it, I think I have a better idea why they wanted this game out. This game is absolutely garbage. The PSP version of Cars is the worst one I've ever played yet, and I could go on and on with how bad this game is, so let's start. So I'm guessing you think the PS2 and the GameCube are the worst ones because they're lower quality textures and models, but even those could put this to shame. Cause the textures are even worse and they weirdly look stretched, the models are blocky as Chevy, the cute smile McQueen makes in the normal game isn't present here, instead we get this weird ugly expression. And I know we don't really get to see his face in normal gameplay, but to put the Pac-Man cherry on top, you know about the big and beautiful radar screens you can explore in on the console version, you don't get any of that. And say you can only do races, and they're not at all like the races in the regular version. But if you're someone who plays the game so many times like I have, but wants to try something new, then go for it. It's just for me, I just like to stick with the original because there's a lot more to do. As a matter of fact, one time I went on vacation to my grandma's house, and I brought the PSP along for the ride, and I'll admit, I was having a good time playing it, but eventually, I got bored of it, and I started to miss the OG version. Luckily, in my case, I have a buddy who has a Wii that was given by Kempta 250, and he didn't even play it since he got it. So, I called him up, and after a few days I got it, I had Kempta 250 help me set it up, and help me recreate my me from his Wii. After that, we plan on doing a blockbuster deal where he lets me quote-unquote rent a game for a week, then turn it back in to get a different game. It was great. And great news! One day, I was browsing on eBay, and what did I find? A Cars and Race Rama video game bundle, and in good condition too. I gotta say, I had a great time with this, and I think it's my favorite version of the game. I mean, like, sure, the Xbox 360 might have a more smoother graphics and a more powerful system, but there's something about the Wii's version that's very charming. But I think that's probably just the Wii Channel jingle, which we don't get on other consoles, but still charming nonetheless. Oh, and what happened to the PSP after I got the Wii? Well, glad you asked. I got the box that perfectly fits the PSP, then I packed it in with the cords and games, including the Cars video game, and then I donated it to the same guy that broke my old PS2. So whatever happens to the portable console is up to him. Now back to the Wii, after some time of doing the blockbuster deal with Camto 250, I went on eBay to find a copy of Wii Play, which for the record took forever to get here because I bought it in the holiday season, and if you're someone that does online shopping like I do, you would know how long it takes for your package to ship even in the holiday season. Anyway, when it got here, I booted it up on my Wii and the weirdest thing just happened. My Wii wouldn't read the disc, but the disc was clean, so I tried my other games, but weirdly enough, my other games wouldn't work except for Race and Rama, and even soon that wouldn't read. So, I got my games to count to 250's Wii and tried to see if my copies were bad, but thankfully, all of them worked, so there had to be something going on with my Wii. So, I looked up some tutorials on YouTube, and one of them suggested taping a stick to a disc and then placing a bayonet to the other end of the disc, and then put the disc into the Wii and then turn it left and right to clean the disc reader. After I was done, I got a game, put it in the Wii, and it wouldn't read still, so it was hopeless. Did you guys know that if it wasn't for the game Among Us, my channel might have been a lot worse from the start? I mean, great, everyone sounds cringy when they first start, but what if I sounded cringy and filmed gameplay videos with my camera right in front of the TV?
yeah, that's what we're dealing with here. In the year 2020, there's been this huge craze for this game called Among Us, and I gotta say at the time, I thought it looked cool. It certainly beats that overrated game Fortnite, am I right? So, I went to the Among Us website, and it said to create a Steam account, and at the time I didn't know what Steam was, but I had help from my dad to set it up. But when we were finished, I got the game up, and I gotta say I was pretty excited. And I've watched countless YouTube videos so I could have a better understanding of the game. But after playing Among Us for the past little bit, I browsed Steam Shop to see if they have cars, and surely enough, it does. And it's in a bundle with Mater National and Raider Straits Adventures. And to put the icing on the cake, it was on sale! A you bet I bought it. And after I purchased it, I got it up to see what it looks like. And it looks like it'd be like an HD port of the PS2 version, but hey, the fact that it's a digital file and the fact that it's on my laptop is sweet enough as it is. Although at one point, I really missed playing on my PS2 like the good old days, so I got Capto 250 to drive me to the same place that I sold my old PS2 library to get another PS2, and they have one. The fat model, that is. So, I got it, and I got Grand Turismo 3 off eBay, and I started playing it again for the first time forever, and I think I shed some tears of this beautiful moment of being one of my most favorite consoles of all time. And of course, eventually I got cars for it recently, and it was nice. And as of now, I've been collecting PS2 games for the past, and some new ones too, so I could play games for YouTube and for self-enjoyment. On January 14th, 2022, I started my channel off with these two videos. Welcome to my channel, and High Speed High's Lightning Strikes Back. And if you guys can already tell, I played Cars the Video Game, which would ultimately become a staple on my channel, and for good reason. Also, I played the Steam version, which wouldn't be possible without Among Us. But whatever, let's talk about Cars TVG's history on my channel. I believe the first thing we did was the Piston Cup series, and if you guys been on my channel, you would know that on the end of each week, I would make an episode of me competing on every single Piston Cup race. And it's kind of like every sports event, but when we got to the last week, we did Raider Springs Grand Prix, like it's kind of its own thing. And of course, we finished it off with Los Angeles International Speedway. And after doing that series, it was kind of heartwarming. Funny enough, after doing the Smash and Fill Speedway, I made a video title Racing Against Teenagers, which would become my most viewed video for a little while, but then High Speed Highs and the Pump Mile Speedway would come along and now view that video. So yeah, at one point I was just making videos of me racing on road races, but then we would do some interesting stuff. After doing the Cup Pack story mode, which was fine, but I was just doing Cars with a short storyline, and soon after, I decided to play Cars with a steering wheel, and I didn't go up to my expectations, but it was still a very cool idea. And who can forget about my unused content video? It was fun scripting and filming, but it was pain to edit, and the problem was, I didn't know more stuff that went unused, but I didn't add it to the script for some reason, and I don't think my computer could take more of it, so I left it out. As far as the year 2023, we start out with a wonderful world of cheat codes, and we have done a lot of crazy shenanigans, and here's a video to sum it up. I was planning on making that video last year, but I just couldn't get around to doing it, so I made it this year. And as a throwback to chapter 1 of the story, let's test out these old copies. I wonder, I wonder if this game looks slightly better than the one on Steam. Probably. Hmm. Whoa! Oh my gosh, the game crashed! <laughs> um, whoa. Yeah, um... It's not supposed to do that. And recently, I bought a PlayStation magazine so we could play cards in its earlier state and see what differences we can find. Let's see. <gasps> oh. We don't get the full turnaround of McQueen. There's no shadows. Look at, like, look at McQueen. There is no shadows. That's, that is another difference to add to the book. McQueen's max speed here, it used to be 108, like 180 miles per hour. But here, it's only like 158, something like that. But to be honest, they're probably like the exact same speed. I think Pixar is just over-exaggerating stuff. 
And everyone's so slow here. Seriously, dude, look at this. I'm catching a flow within like a few seconds. Oh, he's McQueen still says some iconic line. And that's story leading up to this point, why Cars is my most favorite video game of all time. Even though Among Us helped me with finding it on the Steam shop, and then I proceeded to make videos of said game, I can't find myself playing Among Us anymore. I'm not sure if it's because it went down in popularity, which means less players to play with, or because it takes forever to bring new updates to the table, therefore making the game repetitive. Probably both. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> and that's story lamps at this point, why Cars is my most favorite video game of all time. Even though Among Us helped me with finding the game on the Steam shop, and then I proceeded to make videos of said game, I can't find myself playing Among Us anymore. I'm not sure if it... Did you guys know that if it wasn't for the game Among Us, my channel might have been a lot worse from the start? I mean, granted, everyone sounds cringy when they first start, but what if I sounded cringy and, uh... I wonder if anyone's gonna know that I actually sped on this disc and not use fingerprints.